Yes, I'll lose a stone. It's a sacrificial stone. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back. It's India again for another how-to video. And really, guys, uh, I just want to say that we've passed the 50 sub mark. Yes, I know it's only 50, but hey, it's still 50 subs. And so uh, this is a video, again, uh, for you guys. Um, it, and it's really my way of trying to give back to the community just because everyone was super supportive. Uh, when I first was trying to learn how to play the game, I struggled a lot. I had to take a lot of lessons. And um, because of that, I've learned a thing or two. And this is my way to really give it back to you guys, especially you new coming players uh, who are just starting the game or have had an interest in the game and is trying to get into it. And so I'm hoping that the, this series has been helping. I'm hoping that my challenge videos as well as just the gameplay videos has been helping you guys. And uh, if you guys find that something has been really helping you out, leave me a comment below. I would love, love to hear from you guys. And uh, and thank you again so much for the subs. It really means a lot. It keeps me, you know, going. And and I, I I'm I'm very happy to uh, to really share uh, what I've learned. And so, anyways, nonetheless, let's get into the game because that's why we're here. So I decide that hey, you know what? The first how to video, how to pass DDK, uh, was a big hit. And so. And in that video, I was actually playing black. And there was a lot of moves that I was playing that was kind of... I should have read it out a little bit more. And so I want to remake that. But instead of playing as black, I'm going to play as white. Just to give everyone a different feel of the game. And so we are going to play an even game. No Komi. Uh, no. No handicaps. We're going to play an even game, but we are going to play as white. Again, it's going to be a DDK video. So this is how one would play to kind of surpass that DDK mark. I know 10K is, is that first hurdle. Uh, we're trying to go from 15Q down to 9Q. And I remember the time when I, I made it to 9Q, at least in person. I, I On rank, I'm still 11Q on OGS. <laughs> Surprise, I'm still 11Q. But I'm hoping that as you guys have seen me play, it is getting better and I should not theoretically be at a 11Q on OGS. So with that, we are going to continue on. We're going to play in the match room today. We're going to play as white and we are going to think out our thoughts. I'm going to share you guys, with you guys what I know. And I'm hoping that that is going to be enough to kind of catapult your game into the next level. And so, here we go. Now, we're going to start black. Obviously, he's going to play first. And we are going to just start standard. I'm not going to think too much about the opening. Just because, as explained in the first video, the opening is there to kind of set the tone of the map. It's there to kind of tell each player the type of game that we want to play and it is until we start fighting and again it's very it's very uh customized to each game uh but it isn't until you actually start fighting where you kind of go back between opening a mid game and, and back and forth where we're kind of like okay i'm hoping i'm in an advantageous spot if that doesn't make any sense to you don't worry about it just you you'll at least it took me about a year and a half to eventually see it. So I don't know how much faster it is going to take you guys. Uh, it might take even faster now that you have, um, you know, so many more uh, YouTubers and streamers are now streaming the game, which I think is really good for the Go game itself. Uh, but right here, what this opening is telling me, look, I took a 4-4 and my opponent took two 4-4s. Four that's telling me right now, my opponent wants to play very influential. They don't really care about the territory right now. They want to play influence. Because of that, I want to have at least one side where it is territory based. So I'm at more of an advantage in terms of points, in terms of initial points. Now it is up to me uh, to kind of reduce the opponent. But uh, that's what my opponent is saying. And so... Because of that, you can see that the, my opponent is trying to push me down and trying to prevent me from making a lot of points. Now, this move is, I think, is a bad move just because there are a lot of cutting positions right here. Like right now, I can cut. Yes, the um, they're able to come in right here into my corner. But if I start cutting and I start coming out, then you guys can see I can start building right here. 
Now, do I want to play a hyper-aggressive? I don't need to. I can just solidify my corner right now. They still have to come back to protect whatever cuts there are. Okay, most likely they're going to connect upwards, and then I'm going to have to take the bottom corner. Uh, but they do have to come back, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just play safe. They didn't protect, so the question is, can I cut? And that's that's the thing about uh, being a DDK, at least when I was a DDK. I, every chance that I took, I was like, oh, I got to cut it. I got to cut it. And I, ha I really had to slow down, slow my thinking down, ask myself, what is my purpose of cutting? And if I have a plan or if I have a strategy on why it is that I want to cut and it's viable, it's logical that I should cut. At least that's the way I interpret it. So say that I do cut, I know that my opponent's going to Atari one way or the other. Say that Atari is on the top, I push out and then what? Well, most likely they're going to fix or they're going to keep Atari. And the question is, am I okay with that? Well, the thing is, if they keep Atari me, there is a weakness where I can counter Atari and take uh, my liberty. And so for me, because I know I can put my opponent in Atari, or if they go back and fix, I can extend outwards. Now I'm splitting the two groups apart. I know it's really hard to see that, but I'll show you what I mean. So I find it's okay, at least from experience, that I can cut. So I'm going to cut. Now, they decide to Atari me, as, as I stated, I know that that's going to happen, so I'm going to push up. But now look at what happens here. There's a cut here, right, that I can always come back to take. Now, if my opponent fixes and I come out, what happens? Well, I'm on fourth line, and my opponent now has three weak stones. I can come back and kill those three weak stones, defending my group and building my right side. So the question is, if I push out again and they still push me, I'll just cut and take the three. I like that. So I'm going to keep going. They really have to come back and, and fix. Now they don't. So the question is, do I keep going? I want to cut now. The reason being is because if he Hanes, I just take or I come down and I'll try to, to do some damage. But the thing is, if I somehow get into an Atari position, I just have to take and I'm safe. I like that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to protect. Again, he's going to counter Atari me. I don't want to take because that gives him a free move to kind of just uh, Atari again. So I'm going to come down right here, fixing my shape. And now look at what happens. Look at what happens. He has one, two, three weak groups. Now, to protect my Atari right here, I'm going to Hane right here, okay? Also giving more weaknesses to Black. There's a lot of weaknesses here. And the thing is, Black has to come back and fix. Now, I wanna, I wanna save these three stones. They are saved in essence, but it is giving me a little bit of a bad shape. And the question is, am I okay with the Atari back here? Again, I have the corner. If Black Atari's here, it's going to come back out. I have to fix. He probably pushes in one more time or slides down. And then we have to do something in the corner. But it's really hard to kill the corner. Now, if I don't like that, then I should just come on down and be done with it, in essence. So the question is, what do I do? Well, he has a lot of cuts here. There's a lot of cuts. There's three in a row. I can always honey on this side. Okay. Again, if he pushes here... It causes some issues. And again, it does start limiting my eye potential. So you know what? Because there's a Atari here, Atari's there, there's a clamp here, and he, he could under... Let's just play safe. Yes, white's, uh, black's building a wall right here. But I think that's okay. <laughs> and so, I think now is the time to hunt it. Get out, grow the top side right here. Again, I don't particularly like this move, but he plays it. Okay, so I'm going to Atari first. He might come in, but now I'm going to defend my cut right here. He does have a forcing move, okay? And if we take a look right here, what's happening? 
Well, I'm causing more cuts. Again. I can always cut here, and then something's gonna happen. I can push out, I can cut. There's a lot of nasty Aji where I can kill something. So, the question is, do I want to use it? And, in my opinion, why not use it? Yes, I'll lose this stone. It's a sacrificial stone. This stone was just there to kind of put bad shape. And so, it will force him to take something. If I play here, that's a ladder breaker, okay? If I play here and he doesn't take, say that he Atari's me, I just come out and then he can't really ladder me because I'll just turn Atari him and then it, it becomes a ladder breaker. So, now, again, that doesn't really do much in terms of killing something, but it does allow my stone to come out here. If I play here, you guys can see my cursor, what happens? Well, he's going to target me this way. Okay, that pushes me up, or I take right here. So, what is it that I can do? Well, I kind of like putting pressure on these two stones, breaking out here. Okay, I could go this way. He will target me this direction, I go up, and then now his two stones are in danger. I like that. I really like that. Put his two stones in danger, saving my corner. I already killed these three stones in essence. Um, and this allows me to break out in here. He'll take this one stone, that's fine. But I still have a lot of room to grow. Again, I don't have to play here right now. There's a lot of opening moves, but he has a lot of weaknesses. And if I don't, he'll just fix right here next turn. He'll just play in this position where it fixes both cuts. So I want to take advantage of the cut now. If he pushes, that I don't think is a good move. So let's go. Okay, again. We saw that. We're putting these two stones now in nice jeopardy. And I could play here. Atari, boom. Atari, boom. Atari back. And yeah, I'm okay with this. Again, he Ataris. He has to be careful. If he Ataris the other way, then this stone is now in trouble. And then I just come down. Killing these three stones effectively. Okay. Now I could come out here. Okay. Adding more cuts to him. Which I like. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Now I just have to play either here or here. Doesn't matter. So I'm just going to play here. Just to make sure that if he Atari's me back like this. I just take. And now look at what happens. He has so many cuts. Now. And this is the beautiful thing about Aji stones. Again, this stone I didn't mean to keep. This stone I don't mean to keep. But look at what's happening right now. Okay? He's forcing me to play upwards. Is that a big thing? Well, if he makes my stone stronger, if he starts driving me out, look what happens next move. I play here. Okay? And something, one of these three stones is going to get killed in, in, in the process. I like that. If he plays here, again, I just turn and now I'm pressuring his stone. So why not? He's forcing me to play these moves right now. So he's really pushing me. And this is the thing about DDK games is that you got to pay attention to when you're attacking. You're forcing your opponent to become a little bit stronger okay if they're a little bit stronger what happens well one of your groups are going to get weaker so if he hanes if i play here and he hanes i kill something if i go up and he plays here he fixes so right now i'm at three liberties he's at three liberties he's at three liberties here as well the ladder doesn't work for me because I don't have a supporting stone here, so I can't save this stone. So I am after these four stones here. Okay. If I kill these four stones, then this group is in trouble. I mean, this group is already in trouble. But again, I just have to approach here, take this, and now the ladder saves me. So I'm going to I'm gonna ask a question right now. I'm going to see what he does. Again, if he pushes me upwards, I push here, Atari. So let's cut. Which way are you going to go? Again, 
Atari. Three stones. And then he Atari's me back. And look what happens. Atari. These stones are now dead. And I'm just gonna come up. Okay. And now I can push my way out. Even he tries to Atari me, he can't. I just take next turn. So this is a ladder in my benefit. Okay. Awesome. And I'm just going to keep these two black groups disconnected. Again, I'm eyeing this big chain very soon. And just one more, and then I could just jump down. Okay. I can jump down here to threaten to disconnect. Okay. I can come up here again. He has a huge wall. I'm not too worried about it. Um, but again, he has a couple of forcing moves right here. I can try to push, do whatever. Or I can come into the corner here. There's a lot of moves I can do to kind of capitalize on this. Okay, I'm already strong. I don't really need uh, to work too hard for this now. This is dead. This is dead. That stone is dead. So I'm going to come here looking at my cutting stone here and playing some sente moves. Okay, I want to get a couple white stones here to build my top. Again, he has a big wall here. I want to negate that wall. So I'm going to come up here. If I come on this side, and if Black decides to connect his wall on the fourth line, you can see that this wall and this wall is now looking to capitalize on here. And I have one stone up here. So Black playing over here is going to be a little bit hard for me to, to recapture this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play over here. This group is safe, so I'm not too worried about it. And I'm going to counter pincer. This stone, again, has two ways to run, either in the center or here. And now, he is pretty much saying, what is it that I want to do? Well, I want to save my corner. And again, this is a counter pincer with a counter pincer. If I go up, he goes up with me. So let's have him go up first. Okay. He decides to try to take my corner. That is very, very aggressive. I'm going to capitalize on that. Again, he has to come down. Okay, Hani at the head of two stones. Now he's in a ladder that doesn't benefit him. Okay. Uh, again, I'm not too worried about this, so I'm just going to come on down. Okay. And what do I do here? Ooh, did he take over my corner? I think he did. My Atari back. Okay. So, okay. He's going to connect out and then I'm going to go on top. Okay. Go on top. Again, this is a ladder breaker. Okay. Go right here. Atari. And fix my cut. How do I fix? I'm going to fix this way. Does it work? Yeah, it works this way. Now this stone is in trouble. Okay. I'm gonna come up. He's gonna come up with me. Atari. Not Atari, but putting him in a very bad position. Uh, do I care about that? Boom, boom. I think I'll be okay going here. If he pushes, I block. Say that he Atari's, I come up. He comes up. And then these three stones die. So I think... I mean, I could push this way. He goes out one more, then jump. But I kind of like him trying to cutting me. Okay. Again, I kind of like this idea. Because these four stones are now in trouble. Okay, now I can cut. He has two liberties. One, two. Okay, I come down again. These stones are now dead. I come down. It's dead. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, I'm just gonna come here. Just put this on Atari because he's gonna. He looks like he's trying to do something here. Uh. I'm just going to come out. I could just... I could push this way, actually, now. 
So if you guys see, I can push this way, capping this whole group. Okay, this stone, if I go white, uh, white, black, white, black, white is safe. This is a uh, this is a danger. White, 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 white. Uh, there's something here. Let's see. White, black, white, black, white, black, white. White, black, white, black, white, black, white. White, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. I think I can ladder out. I think. I think. White, black, white, black, white, black, white. Black, white, black, because there's a black stone here, white, putting these two black stones in Atari, has to connect, okay. boom, 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 white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. Oh no, it doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. Yeah, there's a black stone here and a black stone right here. So even if I push, these are not in the Atari. And uh, yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, okay, okay. So! Hmm. What can I do? I can push this way or I can push this way. Atari, Atari, uh. White, black, white, black, white, black. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, there's, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot here. Uh-huh. Okay. So, you know what? I'm just gonna come out. It's not ready to save this stone yet. Okay. And we're going to connect this group to kill these two stones. Okay, bamboo joint right here. Okay. And what do I do? Okay, I could push here. Oh, at four. Yeah. So I'm thinking just pushing straight down this way. I am going to hurt these three stones here, but again, I'm not an Atari I can always take. And if I turn here, he still has to come back and try to live in the corner here, which is also pretty big. You know what? I'm going to play here first. It is a Sente move. Okay. And can I just play here? Again, he could always extend, but I can play here to at least threatened to kill one eye. Okay. If he plays here, not a big deal. So I'm going to play here because he wants to play here next to try to create the next eye. Okay. And then I play here. Right. Connect. Okay. Again, now he's dead. So if you guys didn't see that, I played here because if black played here, that was already an I. Okay? Now, I don't care if he seals. If he seals here, one I. If he pushes out, again, no eyes. I do have to come back to save my, my little bit right here. Uh, but overall, I'm liking that exchange. Yeah, I like that exchange. So, now what do I do? Okay, I want to kill the stone. I can come all the way down. Okay, uh, he builds a black wall. I build a white wall right here. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Again, he can't take. I just capture. He could try to do something here, but I don't think it's going to work. Uh, let's see. If he goes here, 
and then he decides to cut. Push out, right? I just push out or I just come out and then he Atari's, I just capture. Okay, I like that. Okay, so let's, let's push. Okay. Okay, I'm coming closer to this cut. And he decides to resign. There we go. So... I'm hoping that that kind of shows you guys that just a little bit of reading, just a little bit of forethought. Again, watch out for your weak groups, defend your weak groups, and uh, take advantage of your opponent's weaknesses a-okay. Uh, so let's, let's review the game just a little bit. So again, why did I play here? Because I saw his opening moves was two four fours. Four fours generally indicate I want to play for influence. So I want something with territory. Okay. And this is just Joseki. Uh, this is one of the, like the five Josekis that I know. So I just play it because I don't know any other variations. And again, when something goes off variation, you just have to ask yourself, is this going to be a detriment to me? What is it that I'm trying to accomplish playing this Joseki? Well, I know that this particular Joseki Black should have played here. I would have made a base, and then Black would have made a base. But because Black wants to play for influence, Black might play on the fourth white. And so this move right here, if you could see, if I played a white move here, this solidifies my corner. So the whole point of this Joseki is to take this bottom right hand corner. Okay, that's why I played it. So when Black decides to play here, again, why did I play this Joseki? I wanted the corner, so I'm going to protect my corner. Okay, so if I protect my corner, now black has to protect this Atari, okay? But that gives white a forcing move right here to split the two groups apart. So, that's what I did. I split the two groups apart. He's putting a little bit of pressure on me. Now, why didn't I do this right away? Well, the reason being is because black has a couple forcing moves, right? Black can do this, okay, and force his way out, okay? And then, um, you know, it just, just cause a little bit of issues here. Okay. Come out and then does something like this and then just come on out. Okay. So I don't like this position. Again, black has a lot of liberties that it's growing. It's, it's allowing him to potentially live. I didn't like that. So I decided to just push out one more. Okay. And then I take, okay, because if, uh, this honey happens, black does this, then I take, right? Black might do this right here, and then down. It gives a lot more cuts, has to do something like this, and then I just come on out, okay? Something like this. Right? And it, it just, it, it gets to be a little bit uh, dicey in this area though. So again, that's what I saw. And so that didn't happen. So what I did, defend my cuts again. Say that I wanted to kill these stones and because I'm, I'm very aggressive and I want to kill and take my profit, I play here, right? Uh, again, black can just do this, right? And then white's in trouble. So it's not the time to kill yet. Uh, again, if I decided to play there, I probably would play here first. If black does this, then at least we get the three stones, okay? But say that I try to do this and black decides to come here. Well, if you guys can see, this is not really a good shape, okay? I'm gonna have to protect my corner and then black can have a couple forcing moves here and it, it just presses me, so I didn't like that. Also, it prevents me from actually doing any cuts in the future, okay? So right here, this allows me to play white here or here, threatening to capture something. Okay. Now I'm gonna honey ahead of three stones just because that that this is a bad shape. Again, he honey had ahead of my three stones too. I decide to Atari. Again, I did see that I can always protect, but this move I did read this out. Say that I decided to go up here. This move I did see where. I, I, I'm left with a big ugly stick and then he just hops on out, okay? So this wasn't ideal for me, so I came back to fix. Yes, he could push and I, I have this shape, but at least this 
right here is a much better shape for me because I don't have to fill in this liberty. Okay. So that's the idea. All right. So I see this is my Aji stone. Again, this is my Aji stone. I only needed to shorten this so that if I decide to cut somewhere else and say that he decides to capture, right? Then I come out taking my profit. He has to live on top, yada, yada, yada. So he pushes. Now these two stones are essentially mine. Okay. Now, why did I haunt it here? Well, I haunted here because I saw that with this move, if he did this, it pushes down, right? I will take. And now what, he, what is he going to do? He's going to push this direction to save these stones, right? Okay, he's going to keep pushing. And then he's going to jump and then I'm going to come up. Now I'm putting pressure on these stones. So there's a lot of just bad, just really, really bad, right? If he does this, I do this. Okay. Actually, I probably wouldn't play there just yet. I would probably uh, try to do this. Maybe he comes up, maybe I do this. He comes up again and then I will press, right? He'll do this, I'll run out. Okay, something like this. Okay, cut. And then, you know, I'll do something. Something here. Uh, so that didn't happen. So again, I took what I could, took. Now him pushing me up, that's probably bad. I think he should have just done this. This is a ladder in his favor. Okay, so if you guys want to see. Again, yada, yada, yada. So this doesn't work for me. So you can see that white's being pushed to the corner here. So the ladder, again, for anyone who couldn't read the ladder, doesn't work for me. The ladder doesn't work. So he should have pushed uh, from uh, the top. And honestly, if he pushed from the top, I would have probably played around here. Try to save this cutting stone. Okay. Okay, but that didn't happen again. Why did I cut? Because if black plays here, what's white going to do? White's going to push. Black, white, black, capture. Right? Or black say that black didn't play black play here capture right boom out okay and now this is in trouble because if he plays up i will come on out and say that he plays up up atari uh atari uh-oh pick so that's the benefit of leaving an Aji stone okay so there's a lot of variations that could happen, but we decided to play this. Again, my idea was to poke right here. Maybe he comes out, cut. Get these three stones. This group is not alive, has to come on out, okay? And you know, if that happens, so well, awesome. We come on out, he blocks right here. Blocks, boom, da, boom, da. Take, block, push. Has to fix, push down, come down, push down, come down, push down, come down, push down. Okay, this way, throw in right there, push. It, it leads to a lot of issues and it contains black. And even if I lose these three stones, right, I'm not too worried. Okay, push something like this. He could do this, I could connect, or he could do something like this. I do something like this, he does this, I do this. It, 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 again, even if I lose this bit right here, say that this happened, what happens? Clamp. I take this whole side. He got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 points. And how much did I get? 4, 8, 12, 16, 18, 20 points. So it's a good trade for me. That didn't happen. Uh, again, he pincered because he saw the ladder breaker. I decide to counter pincer. He decides to counter counter pincer, and I decide to counter 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 pincer <laughs> and make an enclosure right here. So this is my enclosure move to save my corner. He decides to attach, and that led to a lot of just uh, he took he took my corner. So maybe there might have been a better way to do this. Uh, again, this 
format right here. If he cut, Atari, Atari, take. Atari, yeah, fix, down. So I saw that. Okay. Coming out, coming out. Yes, fix. Push here. And again, why is this such a big thing? If I played away, say that I protected my cut, boom, two eyes. This is one eye. I take away, oops, I don't play there. I take away one eye. Okay. He just plays here. Boom, two eyes. For me to take this eye away, I need to play here. And then he would fill because he's an Atari, but again, I'm an Atari. So I have to spend an extra move. He plays here. Now he has life. Okay. So I decide to just play here first. Now, what he could have done is he could have done this. Okay. Try to get out. If I disconnect, he plays here, right? And I play here. He captures. And then, you know, he has life. This is two eyes. He didn't play there though. Okay. Or I would have played here. Okay. He would play here. I would play here. Atari. Okay. And fix. And now he has to come back and fix his, his eye shape. So what happens? I play here. He plays here. I play here. And again, he has two eyes. So he will cut most likely. Again, I'm not too worried because I can always take. But what happened? If this happened and he stayed alive, he only got two points. What did I get? I got solidified corner. I got a solidified wall here. I could push. I could capture these stones. I can come into the corner, right? I could push this way. Okay. And uh, again, I'm not worried about these stones getting cut off because what happens? Again, that's Atari. So he probably wouldn't play there. He'd probably connect first. I connect down. He tries to connect this way. I connect this way. He goes here, Atari. Okay. And then he does this. I just take or I just push out Atari out push here. And then, you know, but again, he's in Atari. He's in Atari. I'm not too worried. Okay. Okay. We are way past the game. <laughs> Maybe go back. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Okay. I think I broke the game. Guys, I broke the game. <laughs> Okay, where where are we going? Okay, I broke the game, guys. All right, so I broke it. There we go. So there you have it. I'm hoping that was fun. That was educational. Uh, again, I don't know why he resigned at this point, but he felt like he lost. So even, and this is what I saw. Say that we cut going down again, cutting stone. He'll probably have to do this, and then I'll just cut. If he cuts, you know, push Atari. Atari back, take, what's he going to do? Right there. And so, yes, you can Atari this way. You can go here. Uh, that might pose an issue, but I just play here again. Play here. Atari, take. So, not a big deal. Uh, maybe you know, play here, push out, block. Yeah. Uh, Atari this way. Let's take. Maybe he'll do something here. I don't know. But that's what I saw. Or say that he just kept pushing out. Say that this happened. This is what I read all the way down. What happens? He cuts right here. Okay. Again. Can't really Atari me. Okay, this is not if he if he makes an eye he makes an eye right it, it doesn't matter i'm not going to waste a move trying to kill these stones which are already dead that that's my point so there you guys have it all right that's enough of review uh hoping that was educational hoping that was fun uh oh by the way uh, uh no i already showed that variation okay hope that was fun uh until next time and see you guys 
in the next episode thank you again so much for watching up to this point and thank you again everybody uh for supporting this channel so uh hope to see you guys in the next episode take care everybody